welcome back to Holy's Nature Club. Today we've been looking for conkers. We've looked everywhere. We went for a long walk, didn't we? Yeah. Along the river, we couldn't find them, and then we found them at the end of a road. Yeah, and they turn to. They have. They turn to this. Then this. Yeah, so you can either be looking for them in a nice, hard, spiky yellow or green shell like this. And you can break it open and inside you'll find a conker. So we're going to collect lots of conkers for a really fun activities that we're going to do. Oh, that's a big one. This one's still like this. Pull it out. Small bees, one. There's obviously not a very big harvest this year. I can point this one open. Wonder why? Look, it even can like this. Oh, yeah, you're gonna pull that one open? Hey. Okay. They come with white stuff inside. So, we've noticed that it's a bit chillier this morning, haven't we, Hobie? Yeah. So, what we're thinking is what's happened to the seasons? What season are we in now, do you think? Winter. Almost winter. What happens before winter? Can you remember? It begins with all autumn. Autumn. Well done. And what happens around us in the autumn? Should we have a look around the garden? Yeah. You can see that we've got some really nice colours, haven't we, Haley? Yeah. What's happened here? They turned different colours. The leaves have turned different colours. What colour were they were in the summer? Green. Green. And what are they now? Red. And they're sometimes orange. And yellow and. And then what happens to them? They fall they off. Yeah, they fall off the tree. So we can see there's lots of leaves now starting to fall onto the floor. And that's because in the autumn, there isn't as much sun as there is in the summer. So our leaves are green because of the sunshine makes them look green. And then they have to change to keep the tree alive. So the leaves lose their leaves and they fall on the floor. So for the next few sessions, we're going to be doing some autumnal activities. And the first one today is all about what? Spiders. We know lots of people don't like spiders, do they, Hobie? Yeah. Do you like spiders? Yeah, we like spiders, don't we? Why are spiders cool? Why are they good to have? Because they eat like flies, insects, and like bees. Not what? bees, we don't want them to eat bees, do we? We like bees, but yeah. they do eat flies and insects. That's really good, well done. Otherwise, our world would become overrun, wouldn't it? With loads of flies and mosquitoes and midges that go and eat us, don't they? And they give us bites. Yeah, and they sp the spiders eat them. Exactly, so that's why they're really good to have around. So go and show everybody what we're going to make today, Hobie. Spiders. Spiders. And what are you going to do with those spiders, Hobes? Like put lots of light on them, like my hand. <laughs> so we thought they would be a quite a fun activity to do for Halloween. And you could put them in the corner of your room and scare people. Yeah. And the good thing about these is lots of people think that conkers stop spiders from coming into your house. Did you know that? Yeah. They, they, say, they say that they release a toxin, like a, a chemical, that spiders don't like, so they clear them from your house. So they're good to put in the corners. There's no actual proof that that's true, but that's a story that people tell. So we're going to make these conkers today, Hobes, aren't we? Yeah. So do you want to pick a big conker out of your conker box that we collected the other day? Okay. A big one first. Pick a big one. Okay, that's cool. So that can no, be your this one. Okay, that can be your body, and then choose a smaller one for your head. That's good. So all you need today is the conkers that we collected, uh, some pipe cleaners if you want to use pipe cleaners, some PVA glue and a skewer. We're going to use a skewer. Yeah, and some eyes. Oh, and some eyes. If you want to use wobbly bobbly eyes, then you can use those. Uh, if you want to make it more nature-like, you can just use the cups from a, oh dear, fell out, uh, acorn holder. Oh, and you can this for how many eyes if you want to. You can put as many eyes on your spider as you want. So what we're going to do to start with is make, how many legs does a spider have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, well done. So we're going to make four holes on each side. So we're going to use our skewer to do that. So are you ready? Are you going to do this? Yeah. Go on then, you hold this. So all you need to do is push the skewer in and turn it around a few times, hopefully. 
and make it big enough for your pipe cleaner or wire. You can use wire as well. Right, next one, that's one. You doing it? Hold it. You hold it, hold it like this. That's it. Two. I'll do the tiny bit because that's quite tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Ready, three. Ready, push. Oh, well done, that was a good one. Okay, so that's four on one side there. Now we need to do another four. Ready, hold a skewer. Ready, one. one. So we've got eight holes for our legs. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one more in for our head. So you're gonna put hold the skewer, Hobie, down low so it's nice and safe and you don't slip. And just support their hands at the top whilst they're doing it themselves. There you go, and that's for his head. So these are nice and easy to do. Now we're gonna attach our heads by using a little nail, but you could actually use a pipe cleaner as well if you wanted to. But all you need to do is stick your nail, hopes, into there. And where's your body? Where's your head, sorry? Oh, he's a tiny head. Are you sure you want your head that small? Do you want a head that small on there? Yeah. Okay. So stick him, so then we're gonna do it that way around. Yeah. Attach through the conker. This is a bit of a tricky bit because obviously you don't want to stick your the nail into your hand, so just do it yourself. So there we go. How you be look? <coughs> so what does he need now? What does your spider need? Legs. Legs. So we're gonna use a pipe cleaner. So how many legs do we need again? I've forgotten. How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Well done, good boy. So we need enough for eight. So this was kind of a good length. Okay, so we're going to bend one, so we've got two there, Three. two add two is four. four, well done, then two add four is six, six. and then six add two is Seven. Eight. eight, well done, good boy. Right, and what we're going to do, Hobie, can you come around this side for me, come around this side. You're going to dip your legs into that blob of glue. Yeah. Dip your legs into that blob of glue, just the end, just dip the end I... in. Okay, and stick it in the hole. Well done. Done? Good. Well done. And then the next one, keep doing them. No, this hole. Oh, so sorry, you're right, sorry. Couldn't see that one. If you hold it, it'd probably be easier if you hold it. You hold the conker, because you know we're able to control it then. Oh, he's cool, I like his red legs. I got my new bag. <laughs> <laughs> We thought we'd done eight, haven't we? We've done more than eight. Right, what's good about this is you can make your spiders look like spider legs by bending them upwards. Yeah. The spiders look like that, don't they? They have bent legs upwards. Like this, like a big spider. Yeah, and then what, what are we missing on your spider hopes? What does he need? Eyes. What are you going to make his eyes out of? Uh, You're going to use sticky ones, okay? So choose two sticky ones. Okay. Hopefully they haven't lost their stick from being stuck on there. If they have, you can always stick them in the glue again. Oh, that's a big one for a little head. That's it. Yeah, so we might need to stick them in there because you stuck them on there. That one needs to go in the glue as well. Well done. Stuck to me. Brilliant, well done. Okay, so do you want to show everybody? So you've got a spooky Halloween spider. Have fun. It's a really nice, simple activity and gets us outside. We're outside doing it. We've collected the conkers outside. Yeah. And like I said, if you'd rather use all natural things, you could use the acorn cups as eyes and just do a little eyeball in the middle. There we go. So for this one, we've got we put some PVA glue, just need to wait for it to dry. And we could attach our body again in the same way with a little nail. Little 
got a goggly eyed spider and another idea we came up with Hobes didn't we was what can we do what else could we make what other insects what do spiders eat again flies, flies. Mm -hmm. so we could actually make a fly to go with your spider and we've just twisted a pipe cleaner Hiya. so we've made it into two little wings and we've twisted it and left a little sticky out bit and then you can stick your pipe cleaner Hobie stick the wings onto the back of your conker and again attach his head and make a little buzzy fly. So we've made a little fly and a spider to chase your little fly. Yeah. It's a really fun activity to do together and as you can see Hobie did most of it, makes the holes, can stick the, the pipe cleaners in. So we're going to say goodbye now. So have fun in, in nature, nature and remember, remember to, to nurture. nurture. Bye!